Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Microsoft updated its Surface product line and they've really made some nice improvements, but there's nothing crazy here. What we have are new processors and a matte black look. We have the same ports that we had before along with the Surface connector, the nice kickstand and the expandable storage. So that part is all the same. Also on the bottom, we retain the same exact Surface connector so you can use your same keyboards that you had before. And also on the other side, we have our headphone jack. So basically the exact same body in every single way with updated processors. We still have the magnetic pen on the side if you pick up the pen, and then you've got your power and volume buttons at the top. Now with the newer processors, this should be much faster and I benchmarked this in a little bit here, but on the top you'll see there's a little bit of a vent. So on the Core i5 models and, and things there's no fans, it's nice and silent. And then the screen is the same really high resolution touch screen, very reflective. I was trying to get rid of the reflection here, but it works fine. It's very responsive. And you can see here are the specs. So this is the Core i5, 1.6 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of RAM. And what I decided to do was benchmark this and I had to use Antutu since they didn't really have another option. So they had a Surface laptop. So while I looked at the Surface laptop, I was running the Antutu benchmark over there on the Surface Pro 6. And the Surface Laptop looks great in this matte black finish as well. It gets the upgraded internals, but it also even gets a blacked out trackpad that's glass. The Alcantara is black. And the top is really nice looking, but it does pick up some fingerprints. And then again, we have the same ports on the side, USB-A display port and headphone jack, and then a little wireless antenna. On the other side, you've got wireless and then also your Surface connector and nothing on the bottom. Now you can see the Antutu benchmark came out at 288,092, so pretty good for the 8th gen processor. And they also updated the Surface Studio, but there wasn't one for me to check out. So the way you can easily tell the difference is on the back here, there's a USB-C connector on the new version. Otherwise, it doesn't really look much different. It doesn't get a huge upgrade other than a graphics chip and a newer processor. They also introduced some headphones and those weren't available for me to check out either, but those are noise canceling and come in at about $350. If I can get my hands on them, I'll check them out as well. Let me know what you think though in the comments below. I'll, of course, I'll have a full review later on of the Surface Pro at least and maybe the laptop if you'd like to see that. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.